Bardak and I am the Medical Director of Orange Blossom Women's Group in Trinity, Florida. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing us as your healthcare provider throughout this pregnancy and we're really excited to go through this journey with you. We've made a video for you so that we can give you all of the information that you might need in early pregnancy. You're able to watch and re-watch this video at your convenience and we hope that it'll answer a lot of questions that you might have about early pregnancy. At your next appointment, you're gonna get a white folder, just like this, with all of this information in writing. Ahead of that appointment, we want you to watch this video and come with all of the questions that you might have about your first prenatal visit. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll notice in your folder is a welcome to pregnancy. We're so glad you're here letter. This letter informs you of all of the things that might come throughout the duration of this pregnancy. It has information about what to expect week by week at all of your visits, when we do your ultrasounds, how many ultrasounds we'll do, when you'll get blood work done. So at your leisure, read through this letter and please bring with you any information that you might have to your next appointment. The next thing that you'll notice in this packet is a list of over-the-counter medications that are safe for you to use in pregnancy. I recommend you take this list and you put it on your fridge for easy access. You might have mild symptoms at one point in the pregnancy, such as a cough or constipation, maybe a sore throat. If you're wondering what's safe to take that's over the counter, it's all right in the list for you. If your symptoms are more moderate or severe, please don't hesitate to call the office and speak with one of our nurses. We have nurses waiting for you on the nurse line to help answer any of those questions. But if your symptoms are mild and you're wondering what I can take, please refer to the list and make sure that you have any questions answered before taking medications. If we put it on the list, though, we've deemed that it's safe for you to take and you can take it without hesitation. On the other side of this form is a list of iron rich foods that we encourage you to eat throughout this pregnancy. All pregnant women become anemic at some point throughout the pregnancy. That means that your body will fall behind in terms of how much blood it can produce for two people. And because your body falls behind, we want you to eat extra iron rich foods in your diet to help that process along. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian, please let your provider know at your next appointment so that we can further guide your diet to help bring your iron levels up. Again, iron rich foods are really important and we encourage you to eat extra iron rich foods throughout this pregnancy. That list is available in your folder. The next thing in your folder is a list of pediatricians here in this town. You've chosen a great town to be pregnant in because Trinity has a lot of phenomenal pediatricians. We've compiled this list for your convenience so that you can see the names, addresses, phone numbers of all of the pediatric offices. We encourage you to call them, even go make an appointment, visit and meet with a pediatrician so that you can make a decision about who will care for your baby after it's born. At the hospital, you'll notify them who the pediatrician is that you've chosen and they will call that doctor's office so that that doctor will know that your baby was born. So at your convenience, make a plan to visit some pediatricians and pick a pediatrician ahead of your delivery. Next, I'd like to talk to you about blood work that we'll need to do throughout this pregnancy. Your first set of blood work is uh, made up of three different blood tests, or blood types, rather. The first type of test that we're gonna offer you is what I call your mandatory blood test. This is information that I need on every patient. It includes things like your blood count, your blood type, your HIV status, your hepatitis screening, your rubella immunity. We do this to everyone at the beginning of their pregnancy so that we have a good understanding that everything's healthy with you. The next blood test is what I call genetic carrier screening. Now, believe it or not, this has nothing to do with your baby. This has to do with you as a mom to see if you carry a genetic mutation that you might pass along to all of your children. There's a few things that you need to know about carrier testing. The first, it's optional. So you don't have to have it done. It's just a recommendation and a suggestion that you have it done. The second thing that you need to know is that this test is testing for one of three conditions, such as 
cystic fibrosis, spinal muscular atrophy, and fragile X, and all of these conditions are autosomal recessive. That means that a mother and a father both have to be carriers before the baby would be affected with a disease. So we offer to check the mother first, and if the mother is positive, we will check the father, and if the father is positive, we will then send you to a genetic counselor for additional information. So we offer you genetic testing. Yeah, you should note that it's only done once in your entire life. You're either a carrier or you're not, and that will never change. So if you've had a baby before, there's a chance you've already had this done and you would not need to have it repeated. If this is your first pregnancy, then we recommend that you do carrier testing and then you'll never need to do it again. The last uh, set of blood tests is called genetic testing. You might also hear us say NIPT. It stands for non-invasive prenatal testing. This is the actual genetics of your baby, and we're able to find out the genetics of your baby as early as nine weeks. You might have heard this test referred to as the gender test because the test will also reveal the gender of your baby in as, as early as nine weeks. Again, this is an optional test, and I encourage you to check with your insurance carrier provider to see and to confirm that it's covered before your appointment. Most times it's covered, sometimes it's not, and I don't want you to be surprised. If your insurance does not cover early genetic testing, I don't want you to be concerned because you will have another opportunity to check the genetics of this baby at the 15 week mark in this pregnancy. And that is called second trimester penta screening. So if we don't do genetic testing early in the pregnancy, we will offer it again to you at 15 weeks and that test will be covered. At your visit, we'll ask you which tests you'd like to have done during your appointment, and we will draw your blood the next time we see you. Please make sure you bring all your questions regarding blood work to your next appointment. Next, I'd like to talk to you about your diet. As you know, in pregnancy, there are some restrictions, so let's review those. The first restriction is your caffeine intake. You are allowed to have some caffeine in pregnancy, but we suggest no more than one eight ounce caffeinated beverage per day. That includes sodas, coffees, and teas. The next restriction I'd like to talk to you about is your fish intake. As you might know, fish has high levels of mercury and we'd like you to avoid high levels of mercury in order to keep this pregnancy safe. Your official restriction is that you cannot eat more than two fish containing meals per week and that includes canned tuna fish. Of course, no raw fish, so please avoid sushi that's raw, and oysters. It, the restriction does not include shelled fish, so if you enjoy shrimp or lobster tail, you don't have any restrictions there. The next restriction, in terms of your diet, includes cheese. I like to tell patients, if you can order it on a sandwich at Subway, then there's no limit. So you can have as much provolone, pepper jack, um, Swiss cheese as you like. The cheese restriction has to do with very soft cheeses, the kind that might fall apart or crumble when you cut into them, like brie or blue cheese. We do ask you to restrict those cheeses because they have higher levels of a bacteria called listeria in them. And in order to keep you safe, we'd like you to avoid those cheeses throughout the pregnancy. The last restriction has to do with lunch meat. You might have heard that there's a restriction in terms of lunch meat. And so we ask that you limit the amount of lunch meat that you take. And that's for two reasons. Number one, again, that bacteria called listeria. The second is that lunch meats have high levels of nitrites that could complicate the end of your pregnancy. And so if you want to have a lunch meat sandwich throughout the pregnancy, we suggest that you warm it up it's like in a panini press or in a microwave to help limit some of those risks. That's all I have for you in terms of diet, but if you follow a special diet, again, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, please don't hesitate to discuss your diet with us and we'll make sure to guide you properly to keep you healthy throughout the pregnancy. The next thing I'd like to talk about in this folder is this list of courses that are available for you to take at the hospital. We deliver all of our babies at Medical Center of Trinity, and they have a phenomenal labor and delivery unit. 
The hospital offers three courses that are available for you and you're welcome to take one, two, or all if you'd like. The courses that are available are pregnancy preparedness and labor preparedness class, there's a breastfeeding course, and there's an infant CPR course. Again, I encourage you to take all of them. They're all worthwhile and really helpful in understanding your options. Should you choose to take a course at the hospital, the flyer has at the bottom the number for you to call. And each course includes a tour of labor and delivery. So if you'd like to take a course, a tour will be included. If you don't want to take a course, that's okay too. If you just want to take a tour of the unit so that you can see ahead of time the unit, ahead of your delivery, you'll call the same number at the bottom of this form and schedule that tour. We're almost done, I promise. The next thing in this packet is a folder that has information for you. It's really just helpful and it's for you to read at your leisure. It has information about what to expect in each week of this pregnancy. It has information about the size of your baby at each week, about some key nutrients, exercise options. So when you have time, look through this uh, nice folder and make sure you bring any questions that you might have. Okay. The last thing I wanna to talk to you about is some travel plans that you might have throughout this pregnancy. It is safe to travel. However, we do encourage you to inform us when you're traveling, whether it's out of state or out of country. We wanna give you all of the proper information for safe travel and pregnancy. So if you're traveling, let us know. And based on your gestational age at the time of travel, we will guide you for safe traveling. This uh, folder includes some other small and really helpful extras that we've included for you. The first that I want to show you is something called a pre Pampered Pregnancy Club. If you want to pamper yourself in this pregnancy, we have a med spa next door where you'll be able to book um, pregnancy safe facials at your convenience. We also offer 3D and 4D ultrasound packages. So if you want to see your baby in 3D, you're welcome to come do that here at our office. Again, you can call the office to make those appointments. The other extras that we have for you, information about getting a breast pump through your insurance company. So we'll give that to you as well. Information about baby brace, which is an abdominal binder. We have information about cryocell, which is cord blood collection. And we also have information about circumcisions. So if you're having a boy and you want some information, all of that will be available in your packet. Again, I want to thank you for choosing Orange Blossom for all of your prenatal needs. We look forward to seeing you and to helping you along the way. And we're so glad that you chose us. We'll see you soon. Thank you.